The angles of 30, 45 and 60 degrees are frequently used in trigonometry and many times we refer to them as special angles. In this video we will talk about the special angles of 30 and 60 degrees and the values of sine, cosine and tangent of these angles. For this let's draw a right triangle with the acute angles of 30 and 60 degrees. So here we have the right triangle with one angle of 30 degrees, the other one of 60 degrees and the other one of 90 degrees. Now to define the trigonometric functions sine, cosine and tangent using this triangle we need to understand the relationship between all three sides in this triangle. For this let's draw an equilateral triangle. Here we have it and in this triangle all three sides are equal. And in an equilateral triangle not only the sides are equal but all three angles are also equal. And because the sum of all three angles in any triangle is 180 degrees then 180 degrees divided by 3 will give us 60 degrees. So then each angle in this triangle has the measure of 60 degrees. Now let each side of this triangle have two units. We choose this number just for simplicity and of course we could use any other number as well. Now from this corner let's draw a perpendicular down to the bottom side. Then this side is split into two equal parts each of length 1. So here we have one unit and here we have one unit. This perpendicular forms a 90 degree angle with the bottom side and it also splits this 60 degree angle into two equal angles each of 30 degrees. Now notice that we just split this equilateral triangle into two right triangles and each one has the angles that measure 30, 60 and 90 degrees. And this is exactly the triangle that we have to the left. Then in this triangle we can say that if the shortest side is 1 then the hypotenuse will be 2. Now let's use the Pythagorean theorem to find the missing side. For this we will take the square root of the hypotenuse squared minus the other side squared. Then 2 squared is 4 and 4 minus 1 is 3 so we get square root of 3. Then the third side of this triangle will be square root of 3. So here we have the relationship between three sides in a 30, 60, 90 degree triangle. And that is if the shortest side is 1 then the hypotenuse will be 2 and the other side will be square root of 3. Once we have all three sides we can find the values of sine, cosine and tangent of 30 and 60 degrees. Let's start with sine of 60 degrees. By definition sine of an angle is the opposite side divided by hypotenuse. Then sine of 60 degrees will be square root of 3 over 2. Next we will find cosine of 60 degrees. By definition cosine of an angle is the adjacent side divided by hypotenuse. Then cosine of 60 degrees will be 1 over 2. And now let's find tangent of 60 degrees. And we find tangent of an angle by dividing the opposite side by the adjacent side. Then we will have square root of 3 over 1 which equals square root of 3. So here we have the values of sine, cosine and tangent of 60 degrees. Now let's find the values of sine, cosine and tangent of 30 degrees. We will start with sine of 30 degrees and in this triangle here we have the 30 degree angle and because sine is opposite over hypotenuse for this angle this is the opposite side and this is the hypotenuse. Then sine of 30 degrees will be 1 over 2. 
Now let's find cosine of 30 degrees. Cosine is adjacent divided by hypotenuse and for this angle this is the adjacent side and this is the hypotenuse. Then cosine of 30 degrees is square root of 3 over 2. And now let's find tangent of 30 degrees. By definition tangent is the opposite side divided by the adjacent side and for this angle this is the opposite side and this is the adjacent side. Then tangent of 30 degrees is 1 over square root of 3. And here we have to rationalize the denominator by multiplying the numerator and the denominator by square root of 3. Then we will get square root of 3 over 3. Now we have all the values of sine, cosine and tangent of 60 and 30 degrees. I hope you liked the video. Please leave a comment, subscribe and thank you for watching.